Hey everybody, this is Alessandro. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share a video on how to retime your animation. I'm using as an example uh, a blocking plus stage done by one of my students. And normally what happens, you know, when people are learning animation, especially when they're following reference, they tend to follow very accurately the, uh, you know, the timing that they find out in the reference, right? And even if the reference is a really good timing, chances are in animation we can still improve things, right? And sometimes people, a lot of people ask me, you know, what is the best moment to retiming your animation when you're doing blocking plus, polish, right? So uh, today I want to share just one way to do it. Just to be clear here, we are not going to retouch the animation itself here. We're not going to exaggerate the poses. So let's assume we are to a point where we are happy with the poses, we're happy the, with the mechanics. We just we want to improve the timing, all right? And also some people struggle to understand timing very well in um, step mode. So in step mode. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to convert this to spline. But before I make sure uh, I do that, make sure you guys select every controller that you have, because sometimes you might go from uh, uh, IK to FK, stuff like that, right? So whatever you are switching, make sure you press uh, Control Shift and you select, again, the extra controller, just to make sure you have everything selected. You're gonna go here and we go to spline, all right? Obviously the animation isn't perfect, that's why it's a blocking plus, it's not a polish, but this is enough to share what's going on and how to improve the timing, all right? So let's start with this first section overall here, right? Yeah, as you can see, it's kind of even the timing a little bit more, right? So for me, one of the things that I really want to improve, usually when I do from one pose to another, is the middle section of the um, of the motion, which is uh, around here, more or less, okay? And so I think here, for example, we can speed up the, the middle part here. And as you can see, I, I, I'm staying longer on the beginning here, and I also gonna stay longer here at the end, right? And so I'm gonna start to explore and see how these things work, right? So as you can see now, it's, it's, a, lot, it's a lot more snappy, which is nice, but at the same time, I think we can still improve the transition around here because from here it's too slow and suddenly here started to accelerate. So I think it would be nice also to start to improve this area here, right? Boom. Okay. I still feel like maybe the, the, the snappiness can be a little bit too much. So maybe we can, because these two are very, are very close, right? So I'm going to explore a little bit here. Yeah, see now things have started to to get better and here again i think maybe i want to i want to start slow here on three and then go on twos right boom even maybe something like this okay okay boom another things i think this part is very slow so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go from four to three right Okay, boom, here. And here again, you see that once I reach this pose, right, this is in, this one again is very linear. So normally what I wanna do in this case, having just an extra frame here, right? And maybe I'm gonna go negative just for the sake of this tutorial, right? And having a couple of frame here because I want, again, the out, coming out from this position, I wanna start slow and then accelerate, okay? I'm going to move to the second section of this animation here. And again, the jumps is kind of lacking a bit of energy, right? So I'm okay that here, as usual, things move uh, um, quite uh, slow. I'm okay with that. But here, I think I want to start to exaggerate stuff a little bit more in terms of timing, okay? Because things are getting way too slow. Okay, so I'm going to just keep the last frame here at the end. And I think I want to start it to speed up this section here, right? Yeah, see if you have the feeling that here is move, it kind of stop and then move again. So again, I feel like this one can be, um, both of them can be a little bit faster. So let's try to bring them to two, okay? Because I want to like, again, I want acceleration and really fast spin here, right? And I do still feel like from here to here, yeah, see, from here to here, I 
again it's too slow so maybe this one can be on one right not every, everything needs to be on two okay yeah obviously again the animation is still a bit janky because you know now that we are adjusting the timing like here you will need to readjust the some of the poses with the more drag stretch adjust the arc a little bit better right obviously you need to fix this kind of stuff right also the ending see like as long as you get in here yeah this one to me start to feel very very slow the landing is extremely slow to me i wanted to go into this final pose boom boom yeah maybe actually even here okay And you see, even when it gets to this point, it's taking way too long to, to get to this moment. So I think here again, oh yeah, and obviously again, now the, the mechanics are, they need to be adjusted because this is very snappy, right? Um, maybe another things we can do is to see yeah i think here could just be done with a simple easy in for now okay and again and then here this is gonna go here yeah and this needs to go here even more Okay, obviously this part obviously i'm keeping keeping it like this just for the sake of holding the pose as i mentioned about it normally at this stage once i have a timing stuff right um i wanna uh what do i say i wanna maybe add a little bit of mechanics and stuff like that right not just holding it like this but this is just to show you how to retime very quickly uh, your shot okay and let's see again if even this part here right you the, the push in here can be done a little bit better, a little bit more energetic here. Okay. Let's see maybe how can we uh, retime stuff here. Okay. See, there is a little bit of hold in the air, right? Um, yeah, maybe even here, maybe even snap here. Okay. So don't be afraid when you do this kind of stuff to to test your your animation okay and so now that you've done something like this you see it's a, it's a lot more snappy okay and this is i want to repeat this is just a starting point right um it's up to you then to go from there clean up everything and make sure your animation is good remember this was just a blocking plus done in step mode um after i do the retiming uh, I will start to polish, maybe adjust some of the things, okay? But this is a, a, a starting point. But as you can see, if the blocking plus is done properly, right? From here, I can guarantee you, especially if you saw some of my other tutorial on my channel, the polish pass shouldn't be very, very difficult from here. I wouldn't say it's a piece of cake, but definitely when the mechanics are done properly, it will be a lot easier because you can see more or less the motion is kind of working. It's just a bit dirty at the moment, and but if the mechanics are there, you can polish quite easily okay guys this one here is a very short example guys of this this is a very short example guys of the beginning of the animation when we give a rough polish pass and i can guarantee you this one didn't took very long like 40 minutes or something and but you know since the animation the entire animation is more or less four second in two three hour even four hour if you do your due diligence you can polish something like this fairly quickly all right guys hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you have any question let me know down in the comment see you next time ciao guys